Forsake me not, O Lord, my God, be not far from me. Make haste and come to my help, O Lord, my strong salvation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Welcome to Mass this morning. Welcome if you're participating via the internet. Please pray for us as we pray for you. And today we offer uh, this Eucharist in thanksgiving for the work of sculptors and artists, for the way in which this human endeavour enriches our lives and has the potential to point us to things eternal. To prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind and confess our sins. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. Kyrie eleison. Christe eleison. Kyrie eleison. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Keep your family, O Lord, schooled always in good works, and so comfort them with your protection here as to lead them graciously to gifts on high. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Jeremiah. Come on, they said, let us concoct a plot against Jeremiah. The priest will not run short of instruction without him, nor the sage of advice, nor the prophet of the word. Come on, let us hit at him with his own tongue. Let us listen carefully to every word he says. Listen to me, Lord, hear what my adversaries are saying. Should evil be returned for good? for they are digging a pit for me. Remember how I stood in your presence to plead on their behalf, to turn your wrath away from them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Save me in your love, O Lord. Save, Save me, me in your, your love, love, O Lord. Lord. Release me from the snares they have hidden, for you are my refuge, Lord. Into your hands I commend my spirit. It is you who will redeem me, Lord. Save, Save me in your love, love, O Lord. I have heard the slander of the crowd. Fear is all around me, as they plot together against me, as they plan to take my life. Save, Save me in your, your love, love, O Lord. Lord. But as for me, I trust in you, Lord. I say you are my God. My life is in your hands. Deliver me from the hands of those who hate me. Save, Save me in, in your, your love, O Lord. Glory to you, O Christ. You are the word of God. 
Glory to you, O Christ. You are the word of God. Your words are spirit, Lord, and they are life. You have the message of eternal life. Glory to you, O Christ. You are the word of God. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus was going up to Jerusalem. And on the way, he took the twelve to one side and said to them, Now we are going up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man is about to be handed over to the chief priests and scribes. They will condemn him to death and will hand him over to the pagans to be mocked and scourged and crucified and on the third day he will rise again then the mother of Zebedee's sons came with her sons to make a request of him and bowed low and he said to her what is it you want she said to him promise that these two sons of mine may one sit at your right and the other at your left in your kingdom. You do not know what you are asking, Jesus answered. Can you drink the cup that I am going to drink? They replied, we can. Very well, he said, you shall drink my cup. But as for seats at my right hand and my left, these are not mine to grant. They belong to those to whom they have been allotted by my father. When the other ten heard this, they were indignant with the two true brothers. But Jesus called them to him and said, you know that among the pagans the rulers lord it over them and their great men make their authority felt this is not to happen among you no anyone who wants to be great among you must be your servant and anyone who wants to be first among you must be your slave just as the son of man came not to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. This is the Gospel of the Lord. The power of the Spirit and in union with Christ, let us pray to our Heavenly Father. We give thanks to God for the price that was paid for our salvation. We pray never, never to take it for granted, but to be remade in the image of Christ, to serve as he served, to build up his kingdom of love, peace, reconciliation, and hope. We pray for the church throughout the world, for all who are joined with us in prayer and Eucharist at this moment, for those participating in this Eucharist through the internet, for members of our parish isolating at home because of COVID. We stand in solidarity one with another. We stand in solidarity too with the people of Ukraine. We pray for the church in Ukraine and for the church in Russia that she may speak words of peace and hope into the current situation. 
And we pray for the leaders of the nations, that they may have wisdom and discernment, the wisdom that comes from above. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for artists and sculptors. We give thanks for all that enriches our human lives and draws us to the transcendent. We give thanks to God for the beauty of this church and its content. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. We hold to you, Father, those who have asked us to pray for them. Mike, Anne, Claire, Pauline, Roy, Julie, Jill, David, Jane, Julia. Cara, Maria Teresa, Derek, Beryl, Sharon, Dorothy, Evie May, and Shirley. We pray for those recently bereaved, especially for the family and friends of Marjorie Payne and Tony Ring. your mercy. Hear our prayer. And finally, we remember those who have died, those whom we love but see no longer, those who have inspired us on the pilgrim journey. Praying too for Marjorie Payne and Tony Ring, and in years mine for Peggy Francis Russell. Rest eternal, grant unto them, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon them. Finally, we commend the living and the departed to the gracious intercession of Mary, the mother of the Lord. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Christ is our peace. He has reconciled us to God through the mystery of his cross. We meet in his name and we share his peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Peace, peace. peace. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and this wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself and shared in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash away my iniquity. Cleanse me from my sinfulness. Pray, dear friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. 
May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look with favour, Lord, on the sacrificial gifts we offer you, and by this holy exchange undo the bonds of our sins. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels as with one voice of praise we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who, in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. And so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup so that we, in the company of Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, of John the Evangelist, the beloved disciple, our patron, with the apostles, the martyrs, and all the saints, may praise and glorify you forever through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Saviour gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, 
hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him that takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord. I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. The Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord our God, that what you have given us as the pledge of immortality may work for our eternal salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Bestow upon your servants, Lord, abundance of grace and protection. 
Grant health of mind and body. Grant fullness of fraternal charity. And make them always devoted to you. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, come down upon you to dwell deep within you this day and forevermore. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen.